All right, are you feeling inspired to do some spring cleaning? Well, before you get to the yard work, you may want to start in your makeup bag. Beauty expert Linda Moore joins us now <laughs> with what we should be throwing out. I am going to fight you the whole way, though, because I know. we spend so much money on our makeup, we want it to last. We want it to last, and it does cost a lot of money. You're right. So um, I'm going to help you. OK. Because I know you don't throw away anything. Right. And we Alex also don't want, like, <laughs> Styes. Right, you don't want styes. And Alex, the producer, says she has lipsticks that are over eight years old. So, okay, so she needs gonna, to throw them out. We're going to take care of that. So the number one thing okay. is um, writing the day that you open up your mascara. Okay. So this, for example, I don't know if you could zoom in. I opened up this mascara today, so I wrote this date down okay. today. And I have three months to use it. Three months. Yes. Here's my problem with the mascara. I use mascara every single day, and I buy tubes that are, you know, normal uh -huh. size. They last me longer than three months, and I don't want to throw them away after, you know, I'm going to throw it out when it's out. Well, you can disinfect with alcohol, okay. and so I could show you how to do that. You sure. could do that with a mascara wand, but you could also use it on with a lip gloss. With now, a lip gloss. what's okay. on the chart right now? Whoops! Can we go back to that? Is a little uh, icon that's on every single makeup container, skincare okay. container. Okay, here it, it is. Was, yeah, and it's a little flip top. It's on every product. Six M means six months. Okay. Okay. It, yeah. So that's how long from when you open it. Yes. That so, symbol is called PAO, period after opening. Okay. So every product, even my dog shampoo has it. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> I've never checked my dog shampoo. Okay. So baby products as well. Yes. So you have to be careful with that. Yes. So, okay. So show us how to clean something because we may be able to extend it just a little bit, right? Yes. So this is just plain old rubbing alcohol. Okay. And I like to put it in a spray bottle. And you just want to spray the applicator. Okay. And then wipe it down. You could also do this on your powders as well spray oh, straight can? on yes with alcohol it's not okay. going to ruin okay, it good to know and then also too with your cream blushes and lipsticks yes. too right lipsticks okay. as well just clean so, the top off with rubbing alcohol 100 percent rubbing alcohol or 70 percent rubbing alcohol. okay like the one you buy in the pharmacy yes you're telling me uh during the break that it's easier to clean like the lipsticks or the cream blushes like this than uh -huh. it is something with an applicator yes Why? because a lot of us apply lip gloss after we eat, right? Yeah. After we eat our sandwich. Yeah. And then there's still food particles on our okay. lips. And then we then so we get some turkey back. bits. So we have in turkey the lip bits, gloss. little food particles in here. Gross. And then you ask to borrow it. Yeah. And, and then, then I'm like, hey, I and need then some. it's a big mess on our face. Okay. So you see it all the time. Gross. Yes. Very, very gross. Okay. Another thing are these concealers. Now this is my concealer. I put a date on there, 1023. This isn't going to last as long. In fact, it kind of smells a little bit. <gasps> Something like this, a container that's a tube that's not going to mm. get airborne bacteria, that's going to get thrown okay. away today. This will last a little bit longer. Okay, so something we're not necessarily dipping our finger into. Yes, So yes. does this go towards like our, our, our eye creams and stuff like that that we're dipping our fingers into? Yeah, you always want to buy an okay. eye cream that's more in a tube uh, that you could squeeze out then stick your okay. fingers in. Now, cleaning your brushes is super easy. I cleaned my brushes today. I use just a hand soap. You could use oh, a Dawn okay. detergent or even a shampoo and olive oil. Olive oil will help to condition the bristles as well. Okay. And then you just swirl it. Okay. okay. You don't want to drench it in hours. And then you want to just take a paper towel and clean all the makeup and debris okay. and bacteria. Um, and you want to do this once a month. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, de I, def or I definitely. Or just during this that. time of year, spring cleaning, okay? <laughs> no, okay, I know I need to do it. Okay, so how much soap and how much olive oil? Um, I don't even measure. I just okay. do a squirt, a pump of the detergent or the soap, and then just um, also some okay. olive oil to coat it. So there's no tried or two. Okay. No, no. And then, and then buy new product. This is the best time, spring time, to yes. get rid of all your old, eight year old lipsticks, yes. 20 year old eyeshadows, and buy new. It was her wedding <laughs> lipstick. It's got an emotional um, uh, tie to her. And she can't find the we'll, color anymore. We'll, like, I don't know, make some art out of it, Alex. <laughs> Thank you so much, You're Linda. Welcome. You're welcome. All right, you can find more at skinbaronline.com. And up next, we will meet the magical duo launching a brand.